They all had long relationships with Johnny Depp, and they all came to bitter ends. His ex-best friend. We were brothers. He would call me a brother, I'd call him a brother. His agent. He became the biggest star in the world. Do you take any credit for that? Yes. And his business manager. How much did Mr. Depp earn during the period of time you represented him? I recall the amount being reported to be something like $600 million. Bruce Wilkins said drugs overtook Depp's life. My daughter even got married and we ignored it. Tracy Jacobs, his agent for more than 30 years, said Depp became increasingly difficult to work with. Why Mr. Depp terminated you? I really don't know. All I know is he terminated essentially everyone in his life. Initially, Cruz loved him, but Cruz don't love sitting around for hours and hours and hours waiting for the star of the movie to show up. And it also got around town and it made people reluctant to use him toward the end. Meanwhile, it may not be the red carpet, but the trial pitting the two warring exes is turning into something of a fashion show. Check out today's New York Times headline, Costume Drama Playing Out in Court. Jurors are often taking visual cues from a party's appearance to make assessments of their character. Depp favors three-piece suits with peak lapels, Windsor knots in his tie, silk pocket squares. He wears blue-tinted Oliver People sunglasses. They go for $285. And you can't ignore those rock star rings and swept back hair. He very much wants to come across as being more clean cut, more conservative, and someone that these jurors can relate to on a personal level. Amber Heard wears suits too, sometimes pants, sometimes skirts. Underneath, her tops are simple. It's called the Girl Friday look. Super conservative, definitely a message that she's trying to send through these clothes. As for her hair, it depends. Sometimes down or in an updo. Today, it was Heidi braids. Her makeup is minimal. She is definitely using her fashion as a way to get out messaging that maybe she can't say verbally. Two.